Getting into the storage compartment of a big fifth wheel can be a real adventure, especially if the door is big and heavy like this one. And when the latch breaks, you have no way of holding it open. So what I have to do is sit there and kind of balance it on my head and try to reach way in there to, to get to retrieve stuff. And boy, that doesn't work really well. And after a while, you know, it kind of hurts your head. So there are better ways of doing it. And the best one I've seen is this hatch lift hydraulic door lift. And Bill, these things, these things really work well. They're not that hard to install. Boy, it changes your whole life when it comes to working with uh, storage doors. They, they are great and it's so simple. It's a screwdriver, a pencil, and a tape measure, and that's pretty much all you need. And they come in three different sizes. They come in a, a standard, uh, medium, and a large, as well as a bed kit now, which is a great idea. Which, which is a great idea because you know you know how it is when you have to handle those bed lifts, especially the platforms that are pretty are really heavy. Again, that one gets real difficult to balance on your head. Anyway, uh, what's really nice about these hatch lifts is that you can have a small compartment, you can have a large compartment, you can have any compartment. It, it doesn't necessarily, you know, uh, you know, they don't just cater to the, the ultra large compartments because you know what, holding these things open, no matter what size they are, can be a problem. Yeah, and I think they'll fit all the way down to about an eight inch door, so that's a pretty small door. And they, all, they have another great idea here too. This is a kit, so uh, you say you've already got a strut and some of them will pull out after a period of time. Well, then what do you do? So they've mm -hmm. come up with this kit with a plate and the glue and stuff like that, so when the kit, when your old strut yeah. pulls out, you can repair right. it. And, and that's a good idea, but but hopefully that the, the strut that's in there from the factory is gonna hold up, and again, it may not hold up, and you may wanna go to a whole new system. Right. So let's take a look at what these things are, are like. Um, I think, um, you know, from from what I see is that these things are high quality, well-made pieces, and, and I think we can expect that they would last for a long time. Yeah, the instructions are, the pictures are great. They're really easy to follow. Let's take a look at this guy. It feels pretty good too. I mean, these are hydraulic with springs in them, right? Yes, and and both ends are pretty much the same. But you want to have make sure that you keep this end up always. Okay, and then and we, they even they supply a strap in case you have a door that's really high. You oh yeah, so you can grab the strap and pull right, it down. Right, and then all the parts are here, so we can get this thing installed. Yeah, so, a little piece of wood in case right. you need to take it. So in the brackets, everything. Yeah, okay, it's a great idea. Real simple. You want to show them how to do it? Let's install one on this door here. Okay, the first step we're going to get that plate installed, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to do a. I'm going to measure up four inches, and that's going to be to the bottom of the plate because we want six inches to the center of the plate. Right. So. And most of these doors that you'll find, in at least on a fifth wheel compartment like this, will have plenty of space for the four inches. Yeah, you, and you can lower the bracket on the smaller door. They may be down about two inches, and, and you can even go down to zero inches. But then you're dealing... Well, you're dealing you're with dealing this with contour. This you got dealing with the contour. Yeah, so you're you gonna can have to work cut with this that. plate to fit the contour right. if you need to. Right. There's a number of ways that you can do it. So. I like doing a mark all the way around it. You can do it just at the bottom because... Well, the mark all the way around makes sure yeah. that you get the plate in the exact place. Uh, scuff pad. Scuff pad, okay. Make sure we get a good rough this surface up because the surface of this fiberglass can really be smooth and yeah. a lot tougher to Well, here and too. because it's a crinkle finish, you want to give that adhesive uh, the best chance to, to, to uh, set up and, and make a solid yeah, connection we, there. We want every chance that we can yeah. get to make this stick. Yeah. Could, some of the manufacturers, if the struts come on it, there's a wood block back here. Well, most of them don't have wood blocking, so that's where he's come up with this system, and right. it really works what, what happens without the wood blocking, and even with the wood blocking many times, the screws just pull out after after a while because the struts that they use will get all jammed up and, and, and quit working as smoothly, and then what's what's the first thing to go? The, the screws yeah, it, in, the, in the bracket. Pull, pull right out. Yeah. So it's just an alcohol pad that I cleaned right. that off with, so it won't take long to dry. Yeah. So I'm going to break this primer here. Yeah. yeah, it's probably like like you said earlier, it's five minutes on the on the primer. Yeah. By the time we get the bottom bracket in there, five minutes will be gone. I can see this going on, it's a little bit shiny, so I want to make sure I get a really good coat. We really want this to stick. This 3M tape that's on this thing, boy, once it touches, it's there. It's there, yeah. Yeah, so. You know, some this 3M's got some amazing tape now. They've got 
tape that'll even uh, hold uh, solar panels on the roof. So while that's drying, let me try to get this bottom bracket in. Okay. So. Okay, like the other one, Bill, we had uh, some metal and we also have some wood to go into here, right? Yeah, the, there's not much wood because of the styrofoam behind it, but. Okay. Well, you just use the wood for the first screw so it'll kind of hold it in place. There you go. A little bit of an awkward position there, but I think we'll get it. Yeah, I hit metal there, so this oh. bracket will be really solid. Yeah. That sounds like wood. It was, but it was solid, so. so oh, bracket, I think this I think this bracket's gonna be very secure. Yeah, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna move. Alright. Yep, that's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna start this leading edge right up against the frame here. Yeah, and you only get one shot at this. Once you <laughs> once that thing's yeah. down, it's down. But yeah, once it goes into place. Yeah it's there permanently. So uh, even though this tape on there is gonna hold this thing permanently, we're still gonna put some screws in there just right. for a little bit of insurance. Well, so, when, these, when this system was designed, it was designed for a little bit of overkill because uh, you know these doors take a lot of abuse over the years. Yeah, and you're gonna open and close this thing the life of this Hundred, Hundreds of times. So, and I'm not gonna run these all the way in and strip them out with this, so I'm gonna hand tighten them. I'm gonna get them close. It, I think the directions say once um, this plate is on there. We could fit the struts and everything else and then leave the struts off for about 48 hours and right. let everything really dry. Yeah, it gets time for that for that adhesive to set up. And this is going to center right in the middle. Okay, okay I'll, hold this, I'll hold this thing real tight. Dry yeah. through here, but I'll hold it really tight here. And, and that one you could drive all the way because you're going through metal. Yeah, I, I can't, no way I can strip that one out. It's really tough metal. So I'm gonna pretty much center right in the middle of these slots. It's slotted, so if I need to move it in the future. You can make slight adjustments, right? Yeah, it's a great idea. And these screws have a really large pan head on them, so. top one in there first. Yeah, it's kind of... All right, perfect. Okay, the ball on this one is already to the outside. Yeah, that one has actually came out the right way, so all we have to do is snap this into place. There you go. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we got it set. Let's uh, close this thing and see how it works. Oh, that's really nice. No more adventures in using you know, compartment doors and no more banged heads. So, Bill, let's open her up. Yeah, and one of the things I really like about this is you see how it really holds this door shut. Without the struts, if this door is unlocked, the, this, the thing's banging in the breeze, and, and you, so you got to really latch it every time you're done. With this, you don't. Right. And yeah. it's also... Let it go. I think it'll work by itself. Yeah, is, it'll work by itself. Boy. So there you have it, hatch lift changes everything when it comes to using compartment doors. Mm -hmm.